Okay. Hello everyone. My name is Zalim Voina. I work at Odweb Romania and I'm here to present to you maybe the most uh, amazing tool ever created for uh, for Pro. Beside <laughs> beside EA Facet and Navigation, of course. Okay. So uh, I will start with a question. Why do we need a data visualization tool? Tool, and especially in prone, uh, and I'll ask, I, I, I'll ask to that question uh, because the task right now, the task to create uh, and publish data visualizations, it's uh, it's too complex and it's a long, long journey. Imagine that you have to find data, to clean this data, to store them then to, to manage the, these databases, I know, access, Postgres, MySQL, Excel files, TSV, then you have to download, upload, reanalyze this data, merge, merge data uh, and rearrange, rearrange columns. Then after that, you, have, you, you can create this uh, visualization using, of course, another, another tool. Uh, save this visualization, write analysis, upload it on web, and uh, then publish and collaborate on it. So we need, at least at EA, we needed a drag and drop front end for uh, for analysts to uh, to use uh, 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 that require no technical support, that uh, is effective and independent and that support uh, both structured and semi-structured data. So let me introduce EA Davis, the first semantic web data visualization tool created for Prone. Uh, here is our, our happy user, uh, because everything is in the browser. You, can, uh, you, you don't need any desktop tools to make visualizations. Oh, the screen is moving, shaking. Okay, uh, yeah. Uh, you can easily copy and paste. So let's see uh, some of the main features of this tool. You can easily copy and paste uh, any data table from any web page or Excel sheet. <laughs> you can run. You can drag and drop uh, any CSV or TSV file. Uh, my microphone works? Okay. Uh, we use for this uh, collective quick upload. So we made a, a widget. Uh, it's a nice package. Uh, then you can use any Spark, Quell, uh, and Point and retrieve data on the fly, then there is a, yeah, this uh, is how it looks, a Sparkle query and the data preview, and here I use data AA relations tool uh, for this uh, visualization. Then it has an intuitive visualization editor to create these charts, I'll, I'll show you in a, in a few minutes. Uh, it supports a large amount of visualizations like uh, area chart, bar chart, combo chart, candlesticks, geo chart, scatter chart, and pie chart. And actually all the Google charts uh, that Google provides uh, with uh, this its API and also similar exhibit view, views like map, tabular view, tiles view, and uh, timeline. And you can group these charts into a dashboard to, to have a better overview of your data. And we'll see that in a moment. Uh, you can manipulate table. So that's why I said everything is done through the web in, in your browser because you can you, you will see that you can uh, change columns with uh, drag and drop and do everything inside 
your browser. It has a modular framework, and uh, I'm proud of this because we, we added a visualization API, then a bundle, EAVs is actually a bundle of this uh, of this integrations like EA Google Charts integrates Google Charts uh, API within this visualization EA Exhibit and then you can easily if you want create more visualization libraries and just plug in uh, so here you can also use uh, is the bundle if you want to enjoy all the features of this uh, of this package or if you only want uh, Google charts without exhibit or uh, vice versa or you want to integrate high charts or or could I don't know uh, and there are more features that I will let you discover and now let's let's uh, see how how this uh, this work. Okay. Okay. So, ah, I want to to start this with uh, to make this a little interactive. So I'm going to add a data a database visualization, and as I said, you can copy and paste. Uh, text here. So let's see. Unfortunately, uh, I don't have the entire screen. Maybe I can make this window uh, like this. And okay. Okay. So I know you like uh, gadgets, mobile phones, tablets. So let's see, raise your hand, who uh, use an Apple iOS device gadget? Okay, let's say 50%. So I'll put here uh, OS users and let's say iOS and 50. Android, okay, 40%. Others, Microsoft Windows, I don't know, Bada, Symbian, okay. Migo, okay. Okay, others, 50%. And the sleeping one will be 5%. Okay, let's see. Okay, so a nice pop-up uh, arise here. Uh, ask me for the data provenance. So I'll skip that for now. And as you can see, I was redirected to the edit visualization tab. Here, where uh, an, a chart was a Google chart was added for me, it's actually a table chart. So, if I want to do a pie chart, I just click on this, save it, and save it. And now, going to the view, I have a pie chart in one minute, or maybe less. So, yes, iOS, Android. Now. I will use a TSV file I downloaded previously downloaded from uh, from the internet. Please don't uh, throw with rocks in me if um, Apple is not the the winner. I'm an Android guy. So let's add a new Davis visualization and using this drag and drop. Use the browser button. Uh, let's see where is it. Dropbox. Conf. Okay, by operating system. Let's use this one with vendor. And now 
I will not skip this uh, pop-up. I don't want to be sued by Apple. Okay. Uh, data source gather August 2010-12. Okay. The same table was added. And uh, as you can see also, no, you cannot see. Okay, so uh, this tab is uh, highlighted with the um, with the blue color, while the others are uh, gray. So this means that this is enabled. The Google charts uh, are enabled, and the others are disabled for now because the system enables uh, this for me. And also these data settings here. I can see my table and the column types, the column types that were auto detected by uh, the, the system. You can see the company is the text and uh, the market share number. So here I can change this. Uh, if the system fails to, to auto detect, I can change it. Or uh, let's say I have a year column and I want to use it as a date. Or as a, or as a number, but this is not the case. Also, uh, you can see these cryptic uh, labels. I can change them just by just clicking. So it's company. Let's see units. 2010-12 market share. 2010-12. Okay, units 2010-11, market share 2010-11. Okay, save it. Now, in the chat, uh, I have them uh, already updated. So, if I try to do this, uh, a pie chart, you can see that I don't have uh, it recommended here. Uh, let's see why Google doesn't recommend me the pie chart. Because uh, you can see they are disabled and it says that I need a label column and a number one. So I'm going to the table configurator and here I can hide all columns and let's do the market share for 2010-12 company for the label and you can see now uh, the pie chart is enabled here in the so I can just select it I can also customize customize uh, customize it let's make it 3d I can also change the, the, the palette of colors. And, and if you notice here, the, the background is orange. This means that uh, I have to save these uh, changes. Otherwise, I lose, uh, I lose these changes. OK? Here I can change the, the title of the chart, market. Share 2012. Okay. Hit sale. And in the view, I have Samsung at the first place with 21%. Uh, Apple is here with 7%. And Nokia. Okay. So, what What's more here on this chart, I can uh, add filters. So the end user can interact with these charts. So if I put them at the right, uh, select the company, and I'll use a multiple category filter. 
save it. And now I have this filters box where, I, where my end user can see uh, side by side Apple, Nokia, and TLC. And then he can actually export this chart to PNG. And voila. And here is a, also a QR code for this. Thank you. Now, uh, I'm going to add another chart. Here, I, uh, you can see I have uh, add another visualization. I can do also a market share for uh, a bar chart. Let's say for 2010-11, or let's put the units. Okay, a bar chart. Save it. Let's name it 2010-11. Okay, I think it's a, okay. And now you'll see that you will have two tabs, one for market share and, but I added this uh, second chart because uh, the next thing I want to, to show is the chart dashboard. Uh, you can see it's not enabled. I will enable this. And now I have my charts, my previously divine, defined uh, charts here, where I can drag and I can, where I can resize them, let's say 400 per 400 pixels. Okay, and this one, 400. Okay, so, ah, this is uh, saved automatically, so you don't have to save it uh, explicitly. So the dashboard is uh, at the end, you see, uh, side by side your charts, but I don't like this. I want the dashboard to be at the beginning, so I can just drag and drop and view. And voila, dashboard is the first tab. Uh, what's more, you can also add filters in the dashboard. You can actually resize this. You can see you have the dashboard filters and the dashboard chart. So uh, you can resize this to, let's say, 300 pixels. And this one to 900, let's try this. No, it doesn't work like this, maybe 217, okay, 15, and 815, no, <laughs> doesn't want, okay. And now I can move the, uh, this filters area to the right, but I cannot add, <laughs> okay, uh, I will add a company with a multiple and maybe also the, <laughs> okay, oh, the units, and this will be a number age filter. Okay, okay, I can also reorder this and let's see how it looks. Okay, I have the filters, the charts, I can do this, I can search for Motorola, okay. Uh, why 
why did I left this uh, this space here? Because I want to add. Uh, you can in dashboard you can add uh, widgets like classical portlet or the rich text area. So here I have a title and a text with a tiny MC. Let's say mobiles. Ah, mobiles. And I'll copy from here this article. Add it and okay. This is not auto. I don't like this auto. Okay. And here I have my widget, which is also resizable. Okay. 600 or maybe 500. No, whatever. 400 and with 900 let's drag it at the beginning but I want it to float okay okay and view it okay yeah the picture doesn't look uh, doesn't resize but uh, you 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 got the point. I have uh, an entire article here, or I can add uh, uh, I don't know charts, feature, uh, keys, keynotes, how to how to use these this charts. Uh, but one more important feature of this uh, dashboard and of any chart is that you you have the this embed button here so we have a, a snippet so if i copy this and go elsewhere or uh, you can you can add it anywhere uh, not not only in uh, in your uh, in your clone site so adding a page page html let's see uh, control v update Let's add the title, save it, okay, and here I have the my uh, dashboard embedded, and I have also the the filters uh, in here. Uh, what else? Uh, I. I I showed you how to to copy and paste, how to add TSV, CSV files. Uh, uh, another powerful uh, thing for this is the the Sparkle queries. So if you know what Sparkle are and uh, Sparkle queries are and uh, you have Sparkle endpoints, or you can find Sparkle endpoints uh, online on the internet. Uh, I can show you how a Sparkle query looks like. Now this is uh, more advanced, but I don't think it's using a Sparkle query. But you can see here uh, a more advanced chart with all the key findings and notes and a table and uh, let's see how Netherlands pollutes okay in energy no in energy okay and that's that's it. Let's see. 
Uh, I have. I'm run. I think I'm. I'm running out of time. Let's find the the presentation. <laughs> okay. Uh, so here, uh, I I like to thank to Antonio De Marinis, the the brain behind this uh, this project, Zoltan Sabo, who who actually integrated uh, Google Charts, and. Uh, Alec Gika, our project manager and uh, coordinator, uh, David Ikim and David Batrino. And we have documentation for, for it, actually for uh, our, all our EA packages. Uh, you can find uh, this documentation at ea.github.com. Uh, you can contact us for uh, this project at uh, eadaviz at googlegroups.com and uh, at daviz.ionet.europa.eu you can find more live examples and uh, uh, complex charts, dashboards. Thank you. Questions, please. <laughs> Yes. I'm not sure I, I, I can hear you. Yes. Uh, actually, right now we support only TSV and CSV because it's hard to parse an Excel file. You at least have to export and format this uh, your data in CSV, DSV. Yes. You can load it uh, with Sparkle queries right now. Uh, otherwise, you can just copy and paste. Yeah, if that one uh, provides a uh, export it in TSV, CSV, or okay, uh, Sparkle, or Antonio can uh, tell you more. Yeah, but that's only for uh, exhibit uh, implementation, so. Yeah. Uh, you had a question? If you have a chart that's uh, fed data from a Sparkle query, uh, does it immediately update as soon as the uh, answers to the Sparkle query change? Yeah, the, the data can change. The query, uh, if you change the query, another version of that Sparkle will be created so you can, uh, so that, that's uh, for not breaking existing uh, visualization. So you can use Sparkle queries to feed live charts then? Yes. Yes. Uh, anyone else? Okay. Coming. Uh, for, for using of the Google library, is it necessary uh, to have a direct internet connection by, because you can't download the Google library without uh, copyright violations? This means uh, DataVis is only uh, in internet uh, with, with uh, access, uh, also in areas with internet access usable with the Google chart library. Is that intended? Yes, we use the the Google Charts API from their server. So, if you don't have a connection, you can 
I don't know, export to PNG or and use them offline, the charts. Okay, anyone else? Thank you.